How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon, let's talk about what's trending. Logan Paul has just been evicted from his house. It was just a month ago in April where Logan Paul just moved in after staying in his place for two years, but it was time for him to get a much bigger place. So he hasn't been in this new place long at all. Logan Paul made a video not too long ago titled, I got evicted and I'm moving in with Jake, Jake Paul his brother. When he asked Jake if he can move in with him, he said no. Obviously it was just a joke video. Logan Paul has a lot of money, he can go buy his own place, he can go rent his own place. Logan Paul probably got evicted from his place because he always has fans across the street, across in like these buildings who are always yelling for him. They're always screaming and it's just causing a disturbance. And also Logan Paul, yeah, he does this. I never lose. <laughs> Did you know that was gonna shatter? Not the fire department. The fire department came. Fire department came. What? Hi. Good morning. Sorry. Smash! I think it's really funny what he does. He has become obsessed with place, but he's kinda encouraging other people to also do it now. The video I'm gonna show you guys is from Logan's video titled, I Traveled 2500 Miles to Surprise My Roommate, and the location the video was filmed was Hollywood Boulevard. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful! Be careful. I don't, I don't wanna clean this up. Is this real life right now? This person could have gotten arrested for doing that. All right, moving on. I have some celebrity news for you guys. Chris Pratt and Anna Ferris has just announced they are separated. After eight years of marriage, they have called it quits. Chris Pratt said, we've tried hard for a very long time, but they're gonna be legally separated. Aaron Carter, AKA the brother of Backstreet Boy member, Nick Carter. Aaron Carter is the younger brother. Well, he just came out as bisexual. Every news outlet is making a big deal of this. Aaron Carter shared on Twitter that he was around 13 years old when he started to find boys and girls attractive. At 17 years old, he had his first experience, but he just didn't open up about it until now. Okay, we all know the lead singer of Lincoln Park, Chester Bennington, passed away from a suicide in California. Well, someone decided to sell Chester Bennington's memorabilia on eBay because this person knows that, you know, well, he died. There's gonna be a lot of demand to collect memorable items, so why not sell it? Why not make a profit on eBay? But Chester's inner circle was not about to let someone profit off his death, so they they contacted eBay to get this person to take those items down. A spokesman from eBay said, the company doesn't allow sales of items that attempt to profit from tragedy. It was so crazy though, items are actually going up for a bit around $50,000. Eminem is about to drop a new album this fall, so we're about a month away from hearing something special. There hasn't been an album from him since like 2014, and that was his classic mixtape. Marshall Mathers, back in 2013, was his latest big album. Super excited to see what is about to come out. Can we handle it? Moving on to one of the most talked about stories right now surrounds 20 year old Michelle Carter who was found guilty of an involuntary manslaughter just weeks ago for encouraging her boyfriend 8 year old Conrad Roy. And this has been going on for years. Michelle when she was 17 years old she sent her boyfriend dozens of texts urging him to take his own life. Well Conrad did just that in 2014 after he committed suicide in his pickup truck. During the time of the incident Michelle was arrested and she was facing about 20 years behind bars. And it's been like a couple years and there's just no sentencing until now. So just recently, Michelle was sentenced to just two and a half years in prison. Throughout the trial, prosecutors argued that Michelle should be held criminally responsible for his death because she wanted attention among other reasons. Well, she wanted him dead. She assisted in his death some would say. But her defense claimed she was intoxicated during the fatal text messages exchanged and her antidepressants were responsible for her behavior. Well now Conrad's mother has just filed a $4.2 million lawsuit in damages. She filed a wrongful death lawsuit. What do you guys think of this story? If you tell someone to go kill themselves and then they do, are you held accountable? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. I'm interested to read what you guys have to say about this. Jake Paul has come up with a diss track, Attack YouTube stars. Well, that's how he titled the video, but in his video, it actually wasn't a diss track at all. And Jake Paul knows that, but he's just using the title so it gets a lot of views, so I get it. At the beginning of his video, he even put this isn't a diss track, so people aren't too upset about it, but uh, yeah, he still received over 230,000 thumbs down. So people are upset, but it's still got a lot of views. I thought the video was okay. I'll link to it in the description below if you guys want to watch the whole thing. Jake Paul commented on his own video and he said this. 
Nobody knows the truth except for people that know me. You can hate on me all you want, but I'm not going anywhere, and the light in me will also shine through all the lies. I'm sorry for the mistakes I've made and the dumb things I've said. We're all human, and humans deserve forgiveness. So Jake knows that he takes things, you know, too far sometimes. So he used this video as not as a diss track, but to tell people, like, to just apologize to people, apologize to his fans. The media is trying to make Jake Paul look like a horrible person. Just look at this article right here. It's titled, World's Worst Person, Jake Paul Released a Rap Track About What a Good Person He Is. They probably didn't even watch the video. They have no respect in him. They just want to make a headline news story. I have a ton of respect for Jake Paul. I think he should, you know, tone some things down, but let's not hide the fact that he is a brilliant guy, and I respect his hard work and dedication. I mean, he created Team 10. Jake Paul has also just announced he's going to be releasing the third verse diss track about his brother Logan Paul, and when it comes to that diss track, uh, Logan Paul made a video saying that the third verse actually doesn't exist. This was a joke, but now Jake Paul again is trying to get more views on his video. Logan Paul said this is clickbait. There is no third verse, but this is strategic again because of Logan Paul's video. Logan said, do you guys want a third verse? So now he's like hyping this thing up again. So the brothers are just, they're just taking over YouTube and there's nothing we can do about it. PewDiePie better watch your back because there's going to be two people more subscribed than you very, very soon. Also just days ago, Logan Paul just passed Jake in subscribers on YouTube. Both of them are number one and number two for the fastest growing YouTube channels right now. Logan Paul's about to set a record for gaining 10 million subscribers in under a year. Should he hit 10 million subscribers in the upcoming days? He does it. A huge congrats to him. He's so gonna do it. In other YouTube news, Lily Singh, aka Superwoman, was just announced to be a part of the Fahrenheit 451 movie. Superwoman will be playing a raven. This is Superwoman's 14th credit as an actress on IMDb. That is just incredible, congrats. She's been working on a ton of TV series and has filmed a lot of things with Seven Bucks Digital Studios, which is the studios that Dwayne Johnson owns, AKA The Rock, AKA My Hero. Also in the news, the United Nations Security Council over on the weekend just passed a resolution imposing new sanctions on North Korea if they continue testing intercontinental ballistic missiles. Sanctions is like a serious penalty that will happen for dis obeying the law and what the United Nations came up with is one of the strictest sanctions in a generation. There were 15 votes in favor for this resolution and it passed unanimously. The resolution targets North Korea's primary exports including coal, iron, iron ore, lead, lead ore, and seafood. So if North Korea continues their test, then America will have no choice but to cut ties and this will greatly affect North Korea's economy. The sanctions will slash North Korea's annual export revenue of $3 billion dollars which they used to get well it's gonna slash it in third so they're gonna lose about a billion dollars and that's per year so in like five years that's five billion president Donald Trump said it's up to North Korea now well North Korea has actually quickly responded they vowed to attack America still Kim Jong-un demands justice for Trump trying to isolate and stifle his country those are the words used by him Kim Jong-un wants us to pay dearly North Korea is very dedicated to their nuclear weapons program and it seems like no threat will get them to stop. This situation has just escalated very quickly because now once the next tests go off, this will trigger the sanction and trades will stop immediately. Well, here's another thing being talked about right now. The 100 meter championship race in London, England just happened. You have to watch this race to see what happened. Usain Bolt was in this race. Everyone in that video is just so damn fast. If that was too fast for you guys, Usain Bolt, aka the world's fastest man, was near the top. He was in the yellow. It looked like he was losing at first in those last final strides. At the finish line, though, it was like a picture ending. It was Usain Bolt, Justin Gatlin, and Kristen Coleman. No one knew who won the race. They all each thought they all won the race. But after a photo finish, it looks like Justin Gatlin just beat out Usain Bolt. In fact, Usain Bolt finished third in the race. 
case. Justin Gatlin is 35 years old. How did you beat Usain Bolt? He's also getting older though. So he received a lot of booze, Justin Gatlin, from the crowd because he's he's turned himself into a villain when he was banned twice for doping offenses. So let's wait and see if this doping thing is a factor in this race because you just can't beat Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is 30 years old and it's still uncertain if he's going to compete one last time. One more Olympics. He said it depends on how he feels when it comes closer to the Olympic time. Right now he's feeling good. Well, after that race, he's probably not feeling too good. So the next Olympics for him is going to be in 2020 in Tokyo, Japan. And he's going to be 33, 34 years old. He's getting up there. But Jason Gatlin just proved you could be 35 and still beat the world's best. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.